The 2023 MLB playoffs have begun and this has been a very entertaining postseason. I'm having a lot of fun watching. Although today I missed on some of the games, I went back and I watched a little bit. There's a lot of parody in this game right now. You got the Phillies beating the Braves when I thought the Braves would be the most unbeatable team in this postseason. You had the Diamondbacks kicking the shit out of Clayton Kershaw. Who the fuck saw that coming? But there is one theme that has happened this postseason that is very interesting to see. The deepest division in baseball, the AL East, is 0-5 during this postseason run. And two of those three teams have one thing in common. Let me set this table because this is a very interesting t conversation that usually comes up every postseason for the past like five to six years. The Tampa Bay Rays have built their team based off of analytics, analytics, analytics. They don't want to spend any big money on players. The only big money player they have is Wander Franco, who we're not going to talk about him. We don't we don't discuss that around here. Only reason they gave him that deal is because he's homegrown, right? And they needed a guy to sell that place out, which he can't do right now. And they have nobody to put people in seats. They had the lowest attendance in postseason history since 1919. Anyways, I digress. My point is they have a system that has been raved about for the past decade or so. A system that is based off of, okay, we don't need that star player. We don't need the Aaron Judge, the Shohei Otani, the Fernando Tatis, the Trey Turner. All the big money guys, we don't need them. What we need are guys who fit our system, work well as a unit based off of certain analytics that we have. And for the regular season, this has been very successful for them. But the one thing that has shown up time and time again is that once you get to the postseason, that system starts to crap out. Now they've made it all the way to the World Series level. When they made it to the World Series, they were in a game seven and analytics fucked them by taking out Blake Snell before he was ready to come out. Before, like he was dominant and they just pulled him. This is a system that they've had for a while that they like to stick to. Only problem is, this is the postseason. Although there are stats to prove that this way is more productive than this way, no stat tells you how that bullpen player is going to do under the lights. No stat tells you a player's dog. The Rays proved that their players don't have that much dog in. They haven't made it to that point since, and this year didn't win a single game, partially because their team is built of this ragtag group of guys who are good at certain things that analytically work out. And look, it's great for the regular season because there's a huge sample size. If you're in the postseason, that sample size decreases. And that's where you need the sample size the most because that's the most pressure a player will be under if you're going to if you're going to base your team off of analytics they kind of have to be thrown out once you get to the postseason those analytics are great for getting you there use them to get to the dance once you get to the dance you have to throw that notebook away the reason why i'm going on such a long tangent about this is because that's exactly what happened to the toronto blue jays again a team that i love to see in sorrow i love to see that the toronto blue jays are in peril right now they have won as many games in this postseason as the new york yankees in 2023 let's get back to the subject at hand jose barrios was pitching a gem four innings of absolute dominance some of the best baseball he's had all year in a season that has been a resurgence year for him he used to be an all-star caliber guy when he was with Minnesota, he was one of those guys you feared. He was one of those guys that you did not want to go up against because he was an ace level guy. There's a reason the Toronto Blue Jays gave him $131 million, yet they pulled him after four innings and 
gave up two runs right after because they bring in another starter, Yusei Kikuchi, who, yes, has had a somewhat of a rebound year. But if this is the best you get out of Yusei Kikuchi, that is not a good starter. He is not that good. To take Yusei, who is already not that good, out of his element of being a starter, putting him in the bullpen, which is a different type of warm-up, which is a different type of atmosphere, which is also a different type of way you have to pitch. That's a hard adjustment to make. And you're making that adjustment now because of analytics and because of the notebook. And the fact that John Schneider went to the media, defended that decision by saying, yeah, we had a few different plans in place. Um, Hosey was aware of it. Uh, he had electric stuff, you know, um, tough to take him out. You know, I think with the way that they're constructed, you want to utilize your whole roster uh, and it didn't work out. You know, I think you, you can look at it broadly and say it didn't work out because they scored two runs when we did make a change. Um, you can also look at the fact that it didn't work out and we didn't take advantage of, of uh, at bats we have with runners in scoring position. So, so bullshit, bullshit. It was a terrible mistake. Own up to your bullshit. Let's get on with it. You defending that is absolutely despicable. Despicable to your fan base and despicable to your team, to your locker room. You're not going to take any blame for that because, look, I get it. If you and the front office had a plan in place, we're going to do this, then this, then this. You know, you want to stick to it. But the problem is, if a guy is pitching the way Jose Barrios was pitching, sometimes plans got to change. The Toronto Blue Jays should not have lost to the Minnesota Twins. You know what? I would have been more comfortable with them pulling Gosman in that situation, like after those three innings where he gave up the two home runs to Royce Lewis. I would have been more comfortable with them doing that to their ace than doing what they did to Jose Barrios. To come off of that game where the Minnesota Twins rookie has two home runs, Jose Barrios walks that guy because he doesn't want to face him, probably a call from the dugout, you decide to pull him off of that for a guy who's unproven. It, it, none of it makes sense to me. You're in a do or die game. In a do or die game, plans need to change and i don't see that out of the toronto blue jays and that's why they and the tampa bay rays have the same amount of wins in this postseason as the 2023 yankees anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this breakdown of this postseason i think the al east is still one of the best divisions in baseball but let me know what you think do you think the al east has fallen off or do you think that this is just a rough patch and they still are one of the best divisions in baseball let me know down below like the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and peace